Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Showdown series. We had that loading screen yesterday telling us that Showdown series is our next promo on FIFA 23, answering the question that we were starting to have, what is going to be dropping on this game after Road to the Final? Because we don't believe Road to the Final is going to have a Team 2, as nothing in here says Team 1 or Team 2, and on the website it says nothing about that. So, Road to the Final is going out of packs tomorrow. What's happening next? Showdown series. We'll talk about everything we know so far based off of the leaks and also what we expect with showdown cards being the forefront of this next promo, which might just be an SBC based promo, but could EA still surprise us with putting old special cards in packs, maybe doing a best of release like they did around the Christmas time this year and they have many times in the past. I think there is potential for that. So we'll talk about that today. And of course, with the last day of Road to the Final, are EA going to end this promo with a bang? I hope so, because it has been such a quiet promo, especially with yesterday's content being underwhelming to so many. Not a great uh, SBC yesterday for Rodrigo, right? 85 rated. They didn't do anything special with the card. And it's still like, why in the world is he getting the man of the match? Maybe we'll get another one of those SBCs today. We still have only had one flashback. And I was really excited for the Road to the Final Rewind players that were going to be a part of this promo as of right now i feel like we only have one so maybe there's some last minute content to come today for road to the final but with road to the final cards going on to packs we also need to think about investing in these cards because some of them are still a little bit lower than where they have been for most of the week not at their absolute lowest prices but with no cards in packs maybe this weekend going forward depending on how this showdown promo looks could these be a really good investment a lot to talk about today so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up and if you haven't hit that subscribe button Let's talk about the loading screen and what we learned yesterday, especially through leaks. Foot Sheriff started the day off yesterday saying, starting this weekend, we will have daily showdown SBCs. Now, this might remind you, like he mentions here, we had a showdown series promo in FIFA 22, except it was a little bit later on in the year. Last year, it started in April. This is a screenshot from directly in the game last year, FIFA 22. Thursday, April 7th is when it started, which... It's kind of interesting. Last year, it started on a Thursday. This year, it's starting on a Friday. I think we know which first game might be highlighted in this showdown series. We'll talk about that here in a second. But what they did was, it's basically just a promo of a lot of showdown player SBCs. And of course, as Foot Sheriff has said, daily showdown SBCs. So that's going to be a lot of SBCs in a short amount of time. You would imagine this is going to be a one-week promo starting Friday and ending next Friday. That means maybe an investment in fodder. We'll talk about that too. But showdowns, right? What happened through this promo last year you remember some of the cards like Veghorst, right this was a player sbc that was a part of the showdown series promo last year uh the i don't know if the i think the porte was a part of this promo as well was this from uh, april yeah this was from the showdown series promo last year that laporte card uh, there were so many good ones, right? Uh, I think the Cars Dorp was a part of it. These are the only the upgraded cards too. Tiago Mendez objective, Yarmolenko, um, the Gutsa card, and then some of the other ones that didn't get upgraded, right? Like the Weston McKinney. So many people really, myself included, really enjoyed that Weston McKinney card. Uh, the Pavard special uh, showdown that we had last year. Ryan Kent got a showdown. Tavernier had a showdown. So Marcus Tavernier, that is. There were a lot of really good showdowns last year during this promo. And there's a lot of big upcoming games in the next week. EA picked a really good week to draft this promo. We've got a lot of cup ties and league ties upcoming in the next week. No Champions League, Europa League, none of that. It's more so back to the cups in the league games. On Sunday, this is where I think we're going to see our first showdown SBC pretty soon. Manchester United and Newcastle play on Sunday in the EFL Cup Final. And you've got cup games and stuff going on throughout the week next week. Now, also next week on Thursday, just to highlight a couple games, you've got an El Clasico game, Madrid versus Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. And, uh, you know, that's a game that EA could very easily highlight as a part of a showdown promo as well. So that's why there's a little bit of hype with this because there is potential for some really good SBCs. And the fact that it's on the daily, there's probably going to be some not that great SBCs probably going to be some solid ones, but with a lot of SBC demand and a lot of action going on in that part of the game, what is going to be happening to fodder? Because right, if there's a lot of SBCs dropping, a lot of people are going to need fodder to get those SBCs completed, right? Well, that's probably going to be the case. Now, right now with the way things look on the market price-wise, You've got fodder in some areas that is up a lot, but other areas, it's kind of down. 85s are somewhere around the range. I'm looking up Pedri right now. This is maybe not the best example. Let me look up Gulashi, right? He's always a pretty cheap 85. 
these guys are around like the 11 to 12,000 coin range, not that high, also not that low, right? I think you have 86s that are right around the range of about uh, 14,000 coins as well for the 86 rated cards, which is down a little bit, not that much, but it's down a little bit, right? 14 to 15K for 86s, fodder in that area is, you know, down a little from where it has been, but still overall, 82s at 1.7k, 83s at 3,000 coins, and 84s at 5.2k. That's inflated a lot. So it's more of your like 85s and above that are kind of low, right? 88s, 28k, 87s under 20,000 coins. You got 90s that are under 50k, and, and, and 89s that are 37,000 coins. So your higher rated fodder is what's kind of low right now. But if you look back to last year with a lot of these showdown SBC, look at the prices of these. I don't think you're going to need 90 rated cards to get a showdown SBC done. The most expensive one that we have on this list is like 318K for the Wakehorst SBC, right? You look at some of the other ones like the Serge Aurier, 122K, Bray White, 240,000 coins. These guys were not that expensive. Brozovic, 172K. This is one of the most popular ones that was dropped. So if we're having SBCs that are between like 100 to 300K in value for showdowns, we're probably going to be needing more of the 85, 86, probably like the 86s and below in terms of your fodder, maybe 87s a little bit. So if you're going to start to invest in fodder and think about that, that just kind of puts us in a predicament because that's where some of the prices are already up the most, specifically with the 84s. 85s, I'm okay with investing in. 86s, I'm okay with as well. It's just going to come down, come down to how good a value the showdowns are because if they're dropping on the daily, there's going to be demand. It just comes down to what players they put in and how much they boost them right they can't be putting out cards like you look at a lot of these showdowns that were released in april you're looking at 90 rated cards after they got upgraded you know before they got upgraded like 88 87 we're gonna need some cards that are pretty good right on weston mckinney if this card dropped in the game right now i mean i know that this is february not april but like that would be a really sick card for right now not upgraded right so you know, it's kind of coming within the power curve right now. E is going to have to be a little bit careful with that. But we already have some pretty stacked cards on this game at the moment. So, they're, again, they just have to make good cards at good value um, with pretty good links that people want to do. Because there are a lot of teams and clubs that could be included with good links. So, there are high hopes for this promo for sure. And I think if you want to invest in fodder, today might be a decent day to do that. To try to get a front foot on the promo. Another area where I would look would be actually with informs because we haven't had an 81 plus team of the week SBC in a while, um, which I feel like we're maybe do one of those pretty soon. But if you take a look at the inform market, a lot of these cards are pretty low again, especially with the current team of the week that we have. We've got a handful of 84 rated informs like Emerson Royale with Premier League and Brazilian links. Not that you really need chemistry for those SBCs, but you know, an 84 rated inform right now is coming in at about 12,000 coins, basically discard price. That's pretty good. So I think if you can get any informs at discard, the highest rated you can at approximately discard, which is I believe about 84 rated you can get for like 11K, even 85s for like 13 to 14K on bid if you can get those, that's pretty solid. 87 rated informs are back at 20,000 coins, right? Like Jonathan David's inform from last week's team of the week. That's pretty low. So, you know, stuff like that is something to consider for sure uh, in the current state of the market. Those are the 85 Jonathan David's, but the 87, according to Flipin, is around 20,000 coins too. Yeah, 20K right there. So that might be a part of the market that could go up further because with we're getting a lot of SBCs, we're going to get a lot of demand and those prices could rise. So watch those prices today because if we're not having a promo with cards in packs tomorrow on Friday, probably your lowest point for the fodder would be on uncharacteristically a Thursday today with marquee matchups, maybe a little bit of supply. Uh, so that's something to kind of watch out for. Uh, there would be, again, at kind of a different schedule than before, but maybe at least do a little bit of a club stock if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, if you think there's going to be a lot of SBC demand and EA is going to do a really good show on SBCs, which they could, right? You never know. Now, the other thing we have to talk about too is uh, talking about what could be in packs, right? Road to the finals going out of packs. I do not believe they're going to put road to the finals back in packs. Once again, <clears throat> that would not make any sense. But what they could do, they've done it once this year already, and it was kind of a surprise out of nowhere. They put old special cards back into packs with the winter best of. Now, I don't know what they're going to call it this year, this time around, if they're going to do that, maybe like 
I don't know, February best of or something around those lines, they could very easily put some winter wild cards, foot centurions cards, team of the year, honorable mentions, future stars even. If EA wanted to add a little bit extra spice to the showdown promo, they could put some old specials back into packs, which would obviously impact prices a lot. You guys remember when these guys got dropped back into packs, right? If we go take a look at that 94 messy like you will obviously see around what was it, christmas day when they were dropped back look at look at this man he was 1.4 million coins gets put into packs boom down to 1.2 is in packs for the next week and goes all the way to, to a million coins before going back up and then of course we know what happens after team of the year look at that spike that's absolutely nuts but regardless of the point this is possible right just again, watch for more leaks. I'm sure there would be some leaks if we're going to get a best of. That would be the biggest variable for this whole weekend is if EA would put out of pack special cards back into packs. Um, they didn't do it last year during this promo. They did not do it last year during the Silver Stars promo that came at this time as well. So I think it's a small chance, but it has to be mentioned because EA could do that. And I talk about this often. I feel like EA could do that a lot more than they do um, because they've already released promo cards in the game. And speaking of promo cards, the market's still super duper duper high all across this game. So maybe this is EA's way of starting to like begin a little bit of the drop off. I, I don't know, but it's just kind of something to consider with the that part of the promo upcoming. So hopefully we see some more news, maybe some more leaks around that today on Thursday, especially with a loading screen, right? Maybe EA would show some card designs on a loading screen. If we see that, that would almost guarantee that we're going to have some sort of old special cards back in packs. So we're going to be looking out closely for that today. But I really don't think there's a need to panic sell or anything like that unless you see something on the loading screen today that would uh, advise us Otherwise, now also with today, we're looking forward to the news of this upcoming Showdown Series promo. It's kind of all we have on that, by the way. Let's look forward to the end of Road to the Final as well, because these cards going out of packs today, people are starting to think, maybe I should invest in fodder for this upcoming promo. But also, hey, is this going to bring a really good opportunity for some of these live cards to go up even more uh, in price if we're not going to have a legit promo this weekend? Is that going to make prices go up further? Oh my goodness. Firmino is absolutely dying right now. 900,000 coins for this card is crazy, right? And looking at some of these road to the final cards, some of them are kind of low. It's kind of interesting right now. Alaba is up, right? Still 1.3 million coins. Uh, you still have a couple of these guys that are definitely inflated in price. Raspadori is still up, holding a really solid price. Some of you guys that are playing today, right? Like Martial with the big game between United and and Barcelona. Some of these guys are up uh, a good amount in price too. Marshall's like 930k or 920,000 coins at the moment. So the market on these is still pretty healthy, but some of them have started to drop a little bit. I wonder if it is has anything to do with the fear of supply today coming from marquee matchups and from uh, division rivals rewards. That could be a part of it, right? Atal is under 200,000 coins. He is 199. And if you take a look at a lot of these, a lot of these are first owner pack pulled or cards that people are, uh, it's not like it's panic selling for most of them, maybe a few. Uh, and, and that's what's driving some of these prices down a little. But it seems like these road to the final cards have a lot more potential to rise after today if they're going out of packs and there's not a new promo coming. And of course, they are live cards. I do think there is some meat to that theory. I think that is very possible. But if we're going to have a big time week of SBCs upcoming with a lot of coin drain happening as well and new cards entering the game that could be a replacement for some of these cards, even that people are using in their teams that are road to the finals, I think it's going to be a selective like chunk of cards, a selective few. I don't think the whole entire road to the final team next week out of packs is going to explode. I think some of them will. The ones that seem to have room to rise and have potential to upgrade, especially after they maybe get their upgrades tomorrow, those first batch of upgrades. But I don't think everything or everybody is going to be flying in price. So that's going to be a very interesting place on the market today. There's going to be a lot of people that want to invest, myself included, right? I'm going to sell some cards into the hype today. At some point, I'm going to sell my Ferran Torres today. But I think I'm I hold on to my atolls. I really might because this guy was 220k early in the week, 220 on Monday, and he's kind of it looks really steep here, right? But he's just, he's down 20,000 coins. He was lower than this uh on what was it on the first night, right? He was down in the 190s. He was actually even lower than that. He was like 180 at one point. But this is kind of the lowest point for a tall, which is interesting considering he's getting a guaranteed upgrade uh tomorrow. He's getting a plus one. So 
that's a bit of a head scratcher for me. But for the rest of these cards, they're either chilling in price or they're down just a little bit. Uh, but I think there's going to be a lot of demand to invest in them today, especially if you pick out the teams uh, that look like they could get an upgrade or um, are leading at the moment in their uh, tie, right? In the first leg, right? You got Raspadori and Napoli winning 1-0. You got Barella and Inter up 1-0. Barella was just like 370K about an hour ago. Uh, after some post-game sell-off, we always talk about it, right? These guys, all of them, even if the team wins, drop post-game. So he is down. Calvin Phillips is down big time, 600,000 coins. But the reason he's down big time is because he is not getting an upgrade tomorrow like a lot of people were hoping and he would uh, because Manchester City drew yesterday with uh, Leipzig, right? So even you look at uh, Forsberg, which a draw for them is kind of like a win in a sense, but he is down to 17,000 coins. That's pretty cheap. So a lot of these guys have been fluctuating in price so much, um, but I think there's still greener pastures and there's still profit to be had on these. Just going to have to pick out the right spots when it comes to these road to the final cards. And I think a lot of people, like I said, are waiting for today's content drop with marquee matchups uh, to really get a good idea of our price is going to drop today at all with a little bit of supply. And then, hey, is there an opportunity to invest? So I would still say be careful and sell into the hype with some of these cards. I'm looking at Ferran Torres and Martial when I say that because I sold Forsbergs yesterday before the game at like 27,000 coins. He went down to 23 and then they equalized. I bought a bunch at 23K, sold them um, at uh, 26 to 27, right? So there was a good flip there. I also bought a Barella um, when... You know, I think it was like 400K during the game. Lukaku scored. He shot up to 440, and uh, I sold him there. So there were good flips to be had yesterday with some of the road to the finals later on in the game. And some good flips as well with the Rodrigo, right? We'll talk about Thursday content today now. I do believe, I mean, man, would EA Sports go back-to-back -back days with Man of the Match SBCs? Potentially, I wasn't even expecting Man of the Matches to be in SBCs. We always see those in packs, but instead, they dropped the Rodrigo yesterday as it was leaked by Foot Sheriff beforehand. And this kind of seems like EA, like, what's the point here, right? We talked about this on stream yesterday. What was the deal? If you were only going to give a small upgrade off of Rodrigo's gold card below his Phenoms card, which is what, 87 rated, why couldn't you have given it to Vinny, who was the actual man of the match? Now, the only kind of caveat to this is, it, did they not give Vinny an SBC because they're actually going to put Vinny back into packs? Um, you know, a part of whatever maybe re-release of best of that they are going to put into packs this weekend you know that's something to kind of think about maybe that's why they didn't do a Vinny card but maybe it's just because they didn't want to put a Vinny SBC out there I don't think they would have had to do a crazy Vinny SBC but he was like the actual man of the match so I don't know why EA made up their own man of the match and just gave Rodrigo um, a pretty low tier card but if you take a look at some Real Madrid links, uh, as you saw some Lucas Vasquez there on my transfer list, they are up. They are absolutely up in price because people are going and doing that SBC since it's a pretty cheap version of a card. And of course, people are still pretty hyped from that win. You know, Vasquez right now is 100,000 coins. I picked some up yesterday for like 92, 90, 80, 89 to 92K, and I sold them at 99 to 100. If I can snag a couple more tonight, maybe on a snipe, like 95, if I can get 93 or 92, you know, I think this is going back over 100k today um, with a little bit of a potential flip there. So, you know, that sort of stuff is moving a bit on the market because we had that SBC yesterday. Maybe watch out for another one of those today. And then I, I hope we're getting something else for this Road to the Final Rewind, man. Road to the Final Rewind was one of the things I was the most hyped for with this promo. The potential for flashback SBCs and, you know, like it just maybe I don't even know what else they could do. Moments SBCs. All we've had so far is a Spinazzola and that's it. It's really been such a quiet week of content. Um, maybe a last, you know, gamble pack today. I don't know. The 83 times 10 is going to refresh. I feel like I don't have very high hopes for today because this whole entire week has not given me given me too much of a reason to get super hopeful about. So make sure you're completing these SBCs, by the way, the uh, chase to get the objective done. I got to get the rise to glory SBC done. I'm a little behind, but once I get those done and once you get those done, you get an 84 times five. And a lot of people got that yesterday and you might as well open it. If we're not going to have cards and packs this weekend, which we're unsure about, but with road to the finals, 
I'd rather try to open him right now and pack one of these guys than maybe a best of. We'll have to see. But that's the biggest question that we have right now. Is there going to be a best of as a part of this promo? And who would be in packs? Or is EA just going to make this kind of a quiet, kind of like non-tent week in terms of cards and packs and just drop a lot of SBCs and more so again really bit of a question mark really big question mark right now in this game i picked up a kevin de bruyne in for him for 620 earlier he's up to about 670 680 at the moment so i'm doing some good trading with the new informs that we had yesterday but that really was the big news yesterday on this game was uh the fact that um we have this promo league for the showdowns and that we're really not sure what's going to be going on. Other thing is as well, Mbappe didn't get into team of the week. So again, it's, it does kind of, if you start to think about it theoretically, it does kind of point to maybe EA is going to do a best of, and maybe they didn't do some of these guys like a team of the week Mbappe. Maybe they didn't do a Vinny Jr. yesterday as an SBC because they plan to put some of them back in packs for a best of, right? That's the kind of stuff that's got me thinking a little bit. Tinfoil hat theory. But it's something to kind of consider. So I'm still pretty gung-ho on these live cards. As you can see, I still have a lot of my investments. I don't have a lot of coins right now at the moment. Um, I still have Fagioli's. I still have all the Raspadori's. I still have all of the Atal's. We do have upgrades coming for these guys. Again, it's coming tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow is the is the first day for these upgrades. So I'm very interested. I still have a couple of Felipe Anderson for today. I'm going to sell those into the hype before the game, not to risk anything. And uh, yeah, probably take the quick flip on this KDB. Maybe I can get like 700 if I get lucky. Probably not though. Probably somewhere around like 680K. So we'll get some quick flips there. Watch the market today. Hopefully we get some more news on the Showdown Series promo. And uh, there's some big games, EA. Give us some good SBCs. We would like it a lot. So let me know what you guys think about this promo concept down below in the comments. But if you enjoyed the video today, hit the thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys there. Peace out.